Hello, it's Yvonne back with a bonus read. We're going to use the Muse Tarot for this reading. That's a flat one. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I do the What's Cracking readings and they can be quite intense, the energies. Sometimes they're really easy and other times they're very intense. And this morning's one was quite intense. So it's been good because I can go off and unpack a couple of boxes while I'm having a tune out from that. All right, let's have a look and see what's going on in the bonus read. All right, so we have the Ace of Swords coming out first up. And everybody knows this is my favourite card in the deck. The Ace of Swords for me represents the absolute truth, like living in your truth, standing in your truth, understanding what your truth is. I remember somebody saying to me one time, I'm really honest, and I kept thinking, yes, yeah, so am I, but I really understand the concept of being able to stand in my truth. Standing in your truth is about living in the moment, really knowing truly who you are, who you are, but actually living your life the way you were meant to. So it's about, you know, finally seeing through those parts of you that perhaps you formed that really aren't part of who you are. And when you start to unravel, when you start to understand how to work towards this energy, you start to see components of yourself that perhaps aren't things that you like about yourself and you want to acknowledge and change. And I think some of the things that came up for me were very much about understanding how, you know, your parents have influenced you in a way that maybe is not the nicest way to live. Like some things were really clear to me, like, um, you know, racism. I didn't understand racism, even though the people around me seemed to think it was just the way you lived your life. I didn't really understand that. But there were other things that I adopted as my own that perhaps never felt comfortable for me. And I had to work to sort of find out what those things were and shed those things that no longer served me. So for me, the Ace of Swords is very, very important to people because what it says is within you lies a human being or a spirit or a soul that really understands who you are. But you've sort of pushed it down because people didn't like to see it or because it made people feel uncomfortable. So when the Ace of Swords comes out, it says to me, there is a brand new beginning coming through here. And it's a beginning that means you're seeing yourself perhaps for the first time, but certainly in your truest form. And I feel like here, there's no covering up anymore. You can't cover it up. You can't go back to the way it was before because when the ace of swords comes through you've got that clarity you understand it's a brand new beginning so beautiful energy coming through wow there we go the tower behind that so the tower says to me that you have broken down those components that made you who you were you've broken them down and you've rebuilt yourself so you've taken yourself right back to the core and you've rebuilt everything within you. Now, it could have meant also rebuilding on the outside. Like we know that when the tower comes in, it can be external events as well. You know, um, walking away from things like jobs or relationships that no longer serve you. But the tower definitely shows me that there has been a wow, huge change with the death card. So these three cards are very, very powerful for me in speaking to you. And I know a lot of people going through this energy, the death of the old, the beginning of the new, the understanding, the breaking down, the restarting, the recommencing. And that is all very evident in these three cards. So for a lot of people I'm talking to, the old way for you is never going to work anymore. The old way for you doesn't feel like it fits anymore. This is the snake that's shedding that outer skin. You're going through a huge transformation here. And I feel like for some of you, it may be getting ready for the next step. Look, there's the devil energy as well. So there is definitely a shedding of ego here. Six of cups. All right. Childhood stuff. I feel like we're seeing a lot of this this week. So there's a definite shedding with the ace of swords. There is a rebuilding with the tower. 
This time you're doing things differently with the death card because you're understanding those components of the ego that no longer serve you. A lot of them would have come from your childhood. A lot of them would have been things that were role model to you or the way you were treated or, you know, it can even be sort of letting go of things like neglect, uh, abuse. So there's a very strong feeling here with that six of cups. And then we have the two of cups. I feel like the universe is getting you ready for new love. I feel really strongly for a lot of people, you may have been um, on what we see as a twin flame journey. And I feel like for, for many of you that has created the energy of needing to review some of the aspects about yourself. Change those things that no longer serve you and become the more solid version of yourself. Now we know that often those relationships soulmate relationships those deep meaningful relationships even the narcissistic and karmic relationships sort of encourage you to become more aligned with who you are so you may sort of find that you have um, issues around attachment abandonment rejection as i said neglect abuse from your childhood that have made you more vulnerable to what we probably class as predators but really those people are quite damaged themselves when they're coming through as predators so but there is a feeling here that you are being aligned to what you were meant to be and you are being aligned for love here with that two of cups so there's like a lot of preparation coming through here for people who are starting to understand their own power I feel like it's like, um, it's not like seeing yourself with weaknesses because I always think weaknesses is such a judgmental word. It's about understanding that perhaps some of the things you've been doing and some of the things that you've been portraying as a human being are not in your best interest. So maybe you've been like subservient in your relationships, codependent. Maybe you've always put other people on pedestals because you haven't wanted to fight and argue for something. But something here tells me you're starting to understand your power. And this time around, it's going to be different. So something is coming towards you. And to me, it feels like it may be new love, new romance, whether or not that's with somebody you've known before or somebody you're about to meet, there is definitely an opportunity coming towards you. But this time you're doing it very differently because you've been through all these changes. And this time I feel like you're meeting someone head on with the Ace of Swords. You're not scared to be who you are. You're not scared to speak up for yourself. You're not scared to set boundaries. So let's have a look. All right, so I have the Four of Swords here. So to me, this says you've been through like that deep healing the Four of Swords is very much that card of really taking time out from the outside world and looking deep within oneself. It can be the card of meditation, but it is really about looking deep within yourself and healing those parts of you you need to heal. Those parts of you that make you feel insecure or not good enough or whatever they are, but those parts of you that perhaps are really not yours, but that you've learned to adopt as your own. Those are the things you're breaking down in the tower. All right, because I feel like here with the Ten of Pentacles, there's an opportunity coming towards you for something very beautiful here. Now, for some of you, this may be about creation, creating sort of financial success. Um, I do see the star as I look into this card. So it could be that you're about to embark on a brand new contract or a brand new opportunity. It may not be love for you. It may be something to do with your career. Um, but there's definitely money flowing more easily now. All right, so I have the Knight of Cups coming through. So for some of you, it's definitely love coming towards you and the Queen of Wands, possibly with a fire sign. Leo, Sag or Aries. I feel here somebody is coming towards you with a big cup of love. Now, the fire signs are very passionate, very driven, uh, very determined. But this one is very determined to win at something. The Queen of Wands is such an attractive person. So it may be that somebody is coming towards you that you find very attractive. Maybe not in a physical sense, maybe in that deep sort of way. Maybe they 
express themselves incredibly well. But this person is very, very intent on a love affair here. That's very abundant. All right, so I have the Five of Cups coming through. Leave the past behind. The High Priestess is here. With the Ace of Cups. That is just beautiful energy. Because you've let go and you've trusted. You've let go of the past here and you've trusted that you can bring in something that is right for you. So you've got somebody, a knight on a white horse coming through here. A knight of cups. Somebody with a love offer. Somebody who I feel you align greatly with in, on your journey. Somebody that is ready to offer that cup of love. But I feel that whatever has happened here is that you've let go of something. And I feel like I'm almost reading after the what's cracking reading. So let's keep going. All right. So we have the seven of swords. No longer self-sabotaging. Understanding your journey with the three of pentacles. And there you are ready to accept an offer. So you've got the knight of wands down here. All right. Before I go any further, because I want to clarify a few things. I have you standing in your truth. You've let go of something from your past here. You've changed something. You've been through a huge transformation with the death card. You've shed or understood, understood and embraced those parts of the ego that maybe were making you fight for something before. Because I see the six of cups, so I know a lot of you are working towards love, but you may be doing it as a result of some sort of situation or relationship that has sort of put you on the path to understanding who you are so have you going through a lot of healing here and I feel like you're moving towards your abundance there is somebody coming in here to offer you love and the reason that's happening is because you've let go of the past with the five of cups and you're trusting the future with the high priestess and in comes the ace of cups beautiful energy no self-sabotage this time no running away no deflecting no having to fight for it. It's just coming towards you in a way that's beautiful here with a lot of passion with that Knight of Wands. Let's see what we have. So we have the Two of Cups coming through again. So for some of you, this may be somebody re returning Six of Cups. So it's possible you could have somebody returning from the past. I do have the Devil card coming through here with the Three of Swords. So it may be somebody that you saw as breaking your heart in the past here feel like you've got somebody returning but maybe for some of you this isn't about somebody returning in so much as you've had your heart broken in the past but this time you're understanding why that happened maybe you're starting to understand your responsibility within relationships rather than just putting the responsibility on the other person which is sometimes a hard thing to to look at it's very difficult sometimes to realise that some way, shape or form, you've accepted your own behaviour and felt that was normal. Um, and then you start to realise how that impacts your relationships. Um, and sometimes you don't know that. Sometimes subconsciously you feel it, but you don't really know. So for some of you, this is definitely somebody returning from your past with a cup. And for others of you, you may have had something from the past that broke your heart and you've got somebody new coming in here to offer you love. All right, let's read you an oracle card. Yeah, I feel like it's the tail end of the what's cracking. It's sort of like you've done your healing. You've been through a lot of change. And maybe now you're ready to invite the next person in. No, that's two. I don't want two. Oh, okay. We might have to draw it random if you're not going to give me a card. I have the blue flame. Very nice. Spontaneous awakening. Activation. Integration time. That's beautiful. Let's have a look and see what it says about the blue flame. This is a card of awakening and energetic upgrades. Perhaps you're going through a period of spontaneous awakening, receiving visions and having experiences that are out of the ordinary. In the West, little is known about the process of spontaneous awakening and it can feel very scary when we go through it alone. 
Elsewhere, they can be seen as auspicious experiences with those going through them being treated with tender care. So there is definitely deep cellular and DNA healing here. So you've been through a huge healing. You know, it's funny because it says many people glamorize the awakening process. And that's so very true. It's not a good time. It's uncomfortable facing your fears. It's uncomfortable facing those parts of yourself that you really now understand have created a lot of difficulty for you on your journey. And I feel like learning to integrate that into yourself becomes very difficult because you it's so much more comfortable to stay where you come from. It's so much more comfortable to think it was easier before when you weren't awake and you didn't realise what was happening. And you become so... You, you become so comfortable with the person you are, you don't look any further. And I mean, for me, I feel that sometimes people talk as an, of an awakening as like a one-off event. And I'm not denying that it can't happen that way. People have life-death experiences all the time. But for many of us, it's a, an unfolding. It may start with a bit of an impact with a realisation, but then it becomes a real drive for us to understand things at a much deeper level especially if we've been repeating a pattern, that's when it becomes so evident. So especially, for example, in relationships where you have relationships that don't take off. So there's some really good work being done in this area. So, you know, if you have sort of come through some sort of awakening as a result of a relationship, then I would definitely re recommend, um, I think it's Brianna McWilliam, um, she's really good with this stuff, very basic, but she also comes from the spiritual perspective, which makes it so much easier to understand. Sometimes you may have come out of a narcissistic or a very abusive relationship, which makes, makes you understand that something about your childhood has taught you in the way that you understand relationships to be. So I feel like here, this is what you're you're going through, or you've come out the other side of, is this huge healing. And maybe you're ready to start again, but maybe you are starting to integrate those loose parts together to try and understand yourself as a whole again. But definitely beautiful energy coming through on that card. I'll leave you with that. Thank you.